So in this section, we want to talk about how to um, steal or borrow a schema from your competitors in as well as taking the featured snippet away from a competitor. So schema and rich snippets have a strong correlation, although uh, you should be optimizing for each. Uh, it's a different optimization strategy. In fact, uh, schema markup is essentially just code. Uh, we walk through the game plan of how you should target your pages and put uh, schema on your top pages. And for featured snippets, um, Joshua here uh, from AREFs has written a brilliant blog post on how to use AREFs to steal the featured snippet away from your competitors. So I have this blog post uh, in the Google uh, spreadsheet. You can walk through that. Um, as an example, let's say we are the head of FreshBooks and we want to take away some schema and rich snippet from our competitors. So I have up an instance of AREFs here and typed in QuickBooks. And from there, what I want to do is start to filter uh, this data to find out what they're ranking for in the array of rich snippets and see if any of those pages have uh, schema markup on them and if we can kind of compare notes and see if we can steal the rich snippet uh, away from them and even their schema. So under organic keywords, you can see they are ranking for a lot of keywords. Essentially what I want to do is create uh, some filters here. So in this case, I'm going to select the featured snippet uh, from the SERP features and that will filter everything uh, if I select this only linking to target which is QuickBooks here and then go apply it will show me all of the uh, rich snippets and you can see uh, this basically denotes this little icon with the uh, quotation marks has uh, basically the rich snippet or featured snippet for that particular key phrase. Now, these guys do rank for a lot of keywords, so you may want to uh, also, uh, in order to make it worth your while, start another secondary filter for search volume. So let's just do, uh, just to kind of whittle this down a little bit, uh, at least a search volume of uh, 500 or more. And then we can kind of see we're left with 200 and, oop, 242 opportunities to go after. So I can take a look at any one of these. Let's say GST refund. I'm going to take that and just plug that into a Google search. And what I should see is that um, QuickBooks has the featured snippet for that particular keyword. So where to go from there, essentially, I would want to take this entire URL. I'm going to click this. And what I want to do is uh, test the page for schema. So I see that they do have the rich snippet. There's an image there. Um, this is the actual page that ranks for that rich snippet. And I want to take this URL now and go back to our Google uh, structured data testing tool and you can see we were on the right side when we were testing our code snippets before but in this case I want to fetch your URL so I'm going to plug that in and basically what the tool is going to do is it's going to parse uh, the HTML and the data on the page and it's going to show me uh, what kind of schema is on this page and I do see that it does have one um, article schema markup for this particular page and I can go in here and kind of filter and sort uh, I'm going to do a search you can search within this tool which makes it nice and I am going to search for schema okay so I was looking in the wrong location they have um, used basically item prop which is the micro data schema um, so there was no script to be found in the head tag. Uh, they are actually using um, item prop, um, which essentially is, is micro data, which is a little bit more intense. Uh, but they are using uh, the micro data type, uh, not the JSON LD.
another way to do this, basically check out uh, a competitor schema or find out which uh, of our own keywords that are ranking uh, but don't have the featured snippet is, again, you can use your own domain name here. Plug that into Site Explorer. Do a quick search. And under organic keywords, again, here you can see a list of all the pages that uh, FreshBook uh, ranks for. Uh, if you haven't checked out uh, Steve's uh, seonotebook.com, uh, be sure to subscribe to that newsletter. It's great for SEO information. So uh, just kind of wanted to give him a shout out here and uh, sure that guys are signed up to his newsletter. It's been helping me out a lot with uh, my SEO. So once you have your own domain name here plugged in to AREFs, you can go to the SERP features and uh, same as last time, you want to select uh, featured snippet, uh, but you don't want to click uh, only linking to target. So what this will do is essentially filter out and uh, check for keywords that are uh, basically you are ranking for like invoice, but you don't have the, the featured snippet. So I'm just going to take uh, an example here. So it looks like gross margin here, FreshBooks is ranking for. It looks like it has a little bit of forward upward motion, um, but somebody else uh, should have that uh, snippet. So I'm just going to go plug this into a Google search really quick and check who does have uh, the featured snippet for that and how we can kind of uh, take that over from, from the competitor. So I can see here that invest uh, Topia has that uh, rich snippet. Investopia is a pretty big site, um, so uh, grabbing that from them would probably be fairly tough. Although FreshBooks um, is a powerhouse as well. Uh, it's an older domain. It's got uh, killer uh, DR and authority. So having said that, um, this might be something that we can take a look at and as well as create um they do have a Google automated sheet to export all of this data. And again, guys, uh, this article, how to find and steal your uh, featured snippets from your competitors. Uh, Joshua has done a great job and included a um, Google sheet that basically allows you to um, automate the, the process so you can export this section here and basically anything that you have the featured snippet for uh, but everything else that you are ranking for but don't have the featured snippet would also be included so you can go out basically find these click the term uh, within the SERPs and do that same trick is basically take this in um, Vestipedia uh, URL, go back to the structured data testing tool and plug that in as a new test. And it will parse the data and basically pull out uh, their schema. Uh, again, schema and uh, optimizing for rich snippets are somewhat similar, but obviously um, your HTML formatting and technically what you're going after if you're doing sort of a um, unordered list or a ordered list with numbers. Um, we'll take a look at a recipe in a second, but those things, um, how you're basically creating the article, uh, will help. So your markup plus your HTML and or um, other coding, how the, the framework is on the page. Um, I do see one error here, so that might be an opportunity uh, to capitalize on. Um, it's saying that one of these values needs a image and it doesn't have an image. Uh, so you might be able to capitalize on that. Um, let me see if I can find the schema for this really quick. I'm not too sure if this is going to be a microdata or um, JavaScript based. Yes, so it 
does have the item prop, which is again microdata. So it's kind of interesting that uh, maybe microdata um, is is getting more um, featured snippets. I would love to see some information. I seen that uh, Matt Diggity had post uh, back on the uh, SEO Signals Lab. Also, I will leave that original permalink. Uh, shout out to Stephen Kang as well for having the best SEO group on Facebook. Um, Basically, this thread has been growing, and the reason why I'm doing this video is to answer some of the questions that uh, that thread has been generating. So, um, back, back to Matt, uh, he is doing some research on isolating um, some things with the tool that we will be looking at a little bit later called InLinks. Uh, in links, Dixon was, um, one of the main guys at Majestic and he is now focused on his new tool, uh, which we'll get to in the, um, schema markup generator, uh, side of things. So having said all that, hopefully this makes sense. Again, if you are looking for, um, new opportunities within your own domain name here. Basically what you want to do is create a filter and uh, do not select only linking to target. You want to include uh, other featured snippets basically um, that you rank for but don't have the featured snippet uh, as of yet. So you can also uh, take a look here and filter this even further. So essentially what you'd want to do is uh, you might be like in this particular case, um, Steve at FreshBooks is ranking six for this particular term. I would probably do a filter here from uh, page one. So anything ranking uh, position one to position 10. That way I know it's not too big of a hop um, trying to rank for something that is beyond uh, page one of Google. So I do see that they are ranking for a lot of the featured snippets. Again, with this uh, quotation here, it means that they do have the featured snippet, uh, number one, number one, number one, and some other terms here, uh, like gross margin. Again, we just do another quick example. If, oh, sorry, I just did gross margin. Let's do retain earnings formula and see who has the rich snippet for that. Uh, again, uh, invest, uh, Investopedia. So, um, great site if you're learning finance, uh, tough site to go up against if you're invoicing software. Uh, having said that, that is, uh, this section to, um, basically go through your own website and find low hanging fruit for terms that you're ranking for, but yet don't have the uh, rank zero or featured snippet, um, as well as you can get into these other things like the question and answer boxes and uh, anything else that uh, we can kind of optimize for. I do recommend going through and reading uh, how to optimize for rich snippets. So I will try and include some of those uh, as well in the uh, original Google Sheet document. So another way to check for uh, rich snippets and essentially uh, schema on competitors' web pages is essentially go directly to Google itself. Uh, if you like chocolate chip cookies like I do, how to make chocolate chip cookies. If I hit enter here, we should see some um, schema recipe, um, recipe schema come up. And we can take those URLs and reverse engineer uh, any of those, uh, articles. So, uh, I do see basically, um, a few different answers here. So anything with, uh, how to's, uh, how to schemas and or recipe schemas, you will get, uh, sort of these, these carousels of just tons of data, right? So, um, all optimized with, uh, review schemas, um, how to article schema and as well as recipe schemas, uh, video results, um, question and answers. So if you are in the, uh, ba baking or culinary, uh, niche, uh, schema, 
uh, is to die for because uh, essentially you can get all of your recipes to the top of Google with adding uh, schema markup. So I'm just going to randomly choose uh, Sally's Baking Addiction and see what type of schema and or rich snippet optimization she has on her page. Um, so obviously lots of delicious images and as well as um, the recipe itself and I am going to do the same thing. Grab this URL and go back to our structured data testing tool and see how many different uh, schemas we can identify from that web page. And if we needed to reverse engineer uh, their schema for our page, we could borrow uh, these schemas here. So they have H card, H entry, recipe, and article. I believe that H card and H entry are um, created with a plugin. Um, I just started seeing these more and more. Uh, we do have our res recipe schema here. Um, which you can see is pretty elaborate. Um, if you are in the baking space and or culinary arts, uh, there is a lot of schema that you can go after here. Uh, there is review schema in here. Um, a very, very, very long detailed, um, recipe schema and as well as article schema on top of that. It is missing a nutrition field. Um, I would have to take a look at schema.org under the recipe data type and see what I would need to add for nutritional value. They're probably looking at uh, your um, micronutrients for the particular recipe, um, how much fat intake uh, you're talking about when you're talking chocolate chip cookies, which nobody wants to read anyways because they still want to eat them. Having said that, if you wanted to uh, have a nice template to copy, you could uh, basically just grab this schema and start filling out your own um, website information within these fields. You do have to know and understand a little bit about schema, but honestly, it's quite straightforward. Basically, if you have an ID, uh, it's usually the URL, uh, the URL itself of the image object um the height and width of that image logo caption uh image again uh the website properties so basically through taking a look at other people's schema and looking at the schema.org library uh you should be able to fill in and uh, create your own schemas from adopting, again, other people's schema uh, directly from the SERPs and going back to plugging that into the uh, Google data uh, testing tool. So having said that, that is the third way to borrow uh, structured data from other websites and uh, use the code for your own website. Just make sure that you refill these out. And once you refill in your own information into these fields, always retest the data to make sure that you have zero errors and uh, no warnings. So that's everything. Thanks, guys.